What's up guys, Warlock here, and today I'm going to be giving you some tips on how to maximize your wisps in the new Affliction League mechanic. Let's do it. So the Viridian Wildwood, the Dark Forest, everybody talks about how they're not getting enough wisps inside the Viridian Wildwood to be able to juice their maps, specifically if you are doing the Abyss strategy in this league. So the league mechanic, we're going to get right into one. The Wildwood is going to form... Let me kill this guy. The Viridian Wildwood is going to form right outside of a map. And all we're going to do is obviously just go in. But we're going to try to maximize our wisps. So when you're in here, a lot of people may not understand. But you only have a certain amount of time that you're going to be able to use your light in order to go through the dark forest. Okay. So some really good tips and tricks to maximize your wisps so you don't end up with just like 34 in a run. So when you spawn in, there's a few key things that you're going to look for to kind of maximize this. You're going to look forward to see if you see any wisps initially, like there's some down here and there's also some up here. Now, if you don't have any, the real big trick to this is to kind of wiggle around and just see if any monsters will come and attack you. When you're wiggling around like this, wherever monsters are, that's where you're going to want to go for wisps. So in this case, we have wisp ups here, so I'm just gonna follow this, right? Now, the wisp is one dry, but I do see it up here in this corner, so we're gonna go. And you can see that's exactly where the monsters are, and now we have an extender. Boom, okay, even more monsters, okay? We definitely wanna follow the monsters because we can always come back and get these wisps later, right? There's a bunch of wisps here, but I don't wanna do that. There's the monsters here, there's a well, and just to clarify that the monsters give you a lot of wisps when you kill them so it's always a really good idea to hunt those down if you see them coming but you can see now that i've kind of like run dry here there's not any monsters there's no wisps and even wiggling around doesn't pull any out of the darkness so instead what i'm going to do is, is i'm going to double back and i'm just going to follow the wisps that are right here and it leads me straight to more monsters okay same thing we got wisps over here Right now, it now it looks like it's run dry just a little bit. I'm wiggling around just to try to find some. Okay, so nothing there, so we're gonna bail. Don't really see any. Oh, now we got more monsters, right? More wisps right down here, and now we have an event. Super good. All right, let's go ahead and trigger the event. Most in most cases, when you do have monsters and you follow them, it's going to bring you to an event. So boom, we got another extender. Let's go ahead and follow our wisps. Then we got monsters here, which is really, really great. This strategy works every single time that you go into a Viridian Wildwood or a dark space. You can see that there's not any wisps here. I'm trying to wiggle. We might be running out of juice here. I'm almost, I'm basically at 3000, which isn't bad, but that's an end. Oh, there goes some wisps. So let's follow more monsters. And remember, it doesn't run out your time as you're backtracking and going through an area that you've already explored. It's only going to do that to areas that you are newly exploring. So here we go. It just ended, but we got a lot of wisps here that we can just go ahead and grab. And we actually found a magi, a breaker of oaths, right? You always want to kill all the monsters if you can. Again, just try not to die. Purchase any of these items if you really need to. But yeah, guys, that is literally the strategy that you're going to do the entire time. Let's make sure we don't die. And you can see I'm coming out with about 4,000 wisps, which isn't bad. That's actually a really good way to juice the map. So again, what you're going to do is just kind of wiggle around in the darkness. You're going to try to follow the wisps trail line. If you don't see it, don't just blindly go into the forest and not try to find monsters wiggle around you always want to go where the monsters are and follow those trails to maximize your wisps unfortunately it is still rng for these but this is the best way to maximize your wisps each and every time you go in here especially if you're going to be doing the abyss farming method which everybody seems to be doing i'm trying to do it but it does require the gilded uh scarab that you're going to need otherwise you can get some pretty good returns but if you don't have that and some sextons you're not really maximizing but this is the way to maximize your wisps. This is like a, you know, a almost 4,000 wisp run. I've gotten it all the way up to five or 6,000 before just on these T7 maps. So now we're just going to go in and juice the map and we're going to finish it. 
But yeah, guys, that is the way that I juice the maps and just follow this around with a live example for you. I know that everybody, I've gotten questions about it and I actually had to learn this. So big shout out to everybody who's maximizing these gains in the new league mechanics. So again, thank you guys so much. Like the video, comment down below. Let me know what you guys think of the whiffs hunting and just trying to maximize this. Don't forget to subscribe and turn on notifications. And as always, stay gaming. I'll see you guys in the next one. Peace.